To explore the outer limits, we'll need a rocket ship to get us into space. Hi, I'm Jenny Barnett Roars. Using our own creativity, let's make one ourselves. Now this rocket ship uses recycled products, so it's also really Earth friendly for our outer space adventure. You're going to need two soda bottles about the same size. So you can either go for the big one or for the small one, and the color really doesn't matter. You're gonna need some styrofoam, a snow cone cup, or you can also create a cone out of paper, some paint, duct tape, some markers, our pattern, which we'll have for you on the website, and then your tools like a paintbrush and some scissors. To get started, you're going to want to cut your bottles. And again, they need to be the same size, and we're gonna cut them in thirds. So what I'm gonna do is actually take one, and using my trusty scissors, kind of squish it to make the first hole, and then cut all the way around. Make sure that you've washed them thoroughly and that they're nice and dry when you get started. There we go. Okay, so now basically what we're gonna do is take this part and fit it onto the bottom. And if you need a little more space, you can just trim back around, just like this. You just want it to be snug and fit on the bottom because if you do it that way, you won't need any adhesive for it to stick onto itself. There we go. So once you've got it all fit together, we're gonna start painting it. A little handy dandy tip, you can use the bottom of the one that you've cut off to be your extra hand to hold it for you. And we've got some pretty metallic silver paint here, but you can use any paint color that you like. This is your chance to be creative and come up with multicolors or single color, it doesn't matter. Just have fun with it. You can even match your paint to the uh, kind of duct tape that you're using. Now, I find that I need two coats of paint to cover plastic, so I like to do one direction first let that dry and then go back in the other direction so that you have full coverage. Then you're gonna set that aside and let it dry. For the next portion, we're going to want to make our fins and we're gonna use some styrofoam for that. So you take the pattern that we'll have for you on the website and cut it out. And I'll show you how easy that is to do. Styrofoam is actually really easy to cut out either using a serrated knife or my secret weapon tool. You wanna to know what it is? It's a gift card. If you cut it at an angle, it makes just a perfect little point. So you can get in there and cut it really easily. Even the curves. Just like that. So you're gonna to want to cut out three or four fins depending on how your rocket ship is gonna stand up. And once you've cut it out, it'll look like this. And if you find that it's a little ragged on the edges, just use a piece of styrofoam and you can sand off the edges to make that curve nice and smooth. So there we go. Now, this makes a little bit of a mess, so we're just gonna brush that aside and start painting these too. And just use your metallic paint and pounce it on. It doesn't have to be super duper neat, but just pounce it like that and cover it all one side and the other and let that dry as well. And actually, while that's drying, you can go ahead and paint your snow cone cup as well. If you don't have one of these handy, don't worry. Just trace a plate on a piece of construction paper, cut out a wedge, and tape it together to create a cone. They can be tall or small, it's all up to you. But as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit of paint here so that it all matches together. And again, if you wanted to maybe make this a different color, you could do that as well. So we'll set aside this and let it dry, and I'll show you how we assemble it all together. We're gonna take this one here, and we're going to attach the cone on top using some little pieces of duct tape. It was just what I had on hand, but you can use any kind of multicolored tape. It doesn't take a whole lot to make it stay on, just like this. There we go, and this is kind of matchy, or you can go for contrast, use your creative imagination. Now, to attach the fins, we're gonna use duct tape as well. And I'm actually gonna take it out and lay it down on the table because it's a little easier. But you're gonna cut two pieces of tape about the size of the fin, like this. And then lay it down and make it even with the cap at the bottom. And we're just gonna attach them with tape. How easy is that? 
And this is why you can choose to have three fins or four fins. It's your choice. So there we go. So once you finish with the third fin, you can go ahead and add some painty details. And I've just used a paint marker to draw on some little rivets. And I think that's fun too if you add the rivets down the side and on the tape as if you've kind of put it together with metal. You can use a metallic marker or a white marker and add things like the USA details. So there we go. And if you got really creative, you can even draw an astronaut on the inside. Either way, have fun with it and know that you're doing something good for the Earth by shooting for the stars.